Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. 26 March, it's a Tuesday. Looks like we're going to get a bit of a squeezy day today based on the candlesticks, uh, based on the calendar, which is very apathetic. It looks like we're headed for a sort of a boring, squeezy day. Um, let's have a look, see what's going on. First, we'll look at this uh, oil chart, 59 and a quarter now. Kind of an indecisive bar yesterday, opened and closed around 59.10. We've already made a new high, 59.37. Um, yesterday's high was 35. It looks like this is going to squeeze higher, and as this goes higher, uh, equities should also squeeze higher, 28.17. Um, so with this in mind, we are still sellers of risk. Uh, our band to sell equities will be sort of 28, 28, 28, 38. So we're just going to calm it down on the tactical book. As I said, as, as, as I've said before, we have downside structures on. So the medium term book is positioned. But the tactical cash flow production book uh, will start selling 28, 28, 28. We'll call it 28, 30 zone up around there. Uh, looks like this wants to crawl higher. Low's been 06. The high's been 17. It gets um, super interesting below 27.89. Looks unlikely, certainly in the European morning, based on the fact that crude is up here. Um, and it's just incredibly quiet. Currencies are totally dead. A lot of options rolling off in uh, dollar yen today that are interesting, sort of in this 110, 20 to 30 level. If you're going to sell dollar yen, we are, uh, that is our bias. This 31 level now is not strong enough because once we break 25 here, this thing will probably float up to 50 or so. So today, the sale level in dollar yen is sort of 45 to 55, not 30. So yesterday, we were offering 28s, never got paid. Today, we're just moving that band higher because we acknowledge that there's going to be some sort of squeeze today. Certainly, that's what it feels like. Cool little low yesterday. It's very similar to the stock chart. Now, this 109.74 level, triple bottom. Um, is interesting as we should see some acceleration if we get down through there. It's exactly the same as 2790 uh, in in equities. Aussie floating higher. We do have um, Kiwi rates tonight, so that that'll be actually interesting. Of course, that is um, that's a long ways away, so. We'll have to we'll talk about that a little bit later. But our BNZ uh, rate statement is tonight. We also have Aussie um, Assistant Governor Kent will be speaking. Less interesting, but um, for now, Aussie seems to be just kind of floating higher again with this sort of squeezy uh, mentality here. Here's Aussie seventy-one twenty. See, we've made a higher higher in the dailies. This line's pretty meaningless now. We'll get rid of that. Um, are we going to attack this uh, 7168? I doubt it. Uh, strikes me as a very, very quiet day, a day to stand aside, be patient, uh, and try and fade the extremes. The calendar uh, is absolute crap. We got, um, we got nothing really. I mean, uh, FOMC Evans. 11.30, broadband from the MPC at 12, housing starts, building permits from the U.S., really rubbish. Um, definitely looks like a terrible trading day, uh, as in low vol, washy, um, kind of just what you would call BS trading, uh, bullshit trading, so be careful out there. This doesn't look like a day where there's going to be loads of money to be made. If you can scratch a little bit of uh, cash together, excellent. 
but be patient, right? This is the kind of day mainly you don't want to lose a lot of money on. There's no real good setups. Market feels very washy and it feels very squeezy. But just because it feels squeezy, you know, doesn't mean it's going to massively squeeze. So, like, if I thought I was going to massively squeeze, we'd be we'd tactically just play risk on today. But as you can see, dollar yen's one ten thirteen still. Euro yen's one twenty four fifty. I wouldn't call that massively squeezy. It's just kind of dead. So, be super careful today. The goal today is not to lose money. Uh, at least that's going to be the goal here. This chart is interesting, even though it's a sterling product. Just wanted to show it to you. I always find it interesting when I see two indecisive days in a row uh, and highs and lows match. So sterling yen, if it wasn't sterling yen, it would be much more interesting. But it is sterling yen. Sort of defined by this 185.83 and now this 200-day. Um, and these lows here, 144.70. Um, definitely not recommending trading anything sterling, but I just wanted to point it out for those of you who are braver than I. As you can say, as you can see, not a ton to say. Maybe buy some gold today on a low one. 13, 13, 13, 10 area. Um, we're going to fade risk on a stretch today. So it looks like we'll be doing nothing at the European Open. Uh, and we'll sit patiently, see if this risk on stretches a bit. If it does, we will fade it. Otherwise, we're just patiently waiting for better setups in the tactical day book. Let's check on Boone's. As you all know, we have downside structures on this. We're suffering a little bit on this one. Our break even is minus 20 basis points, so we're fine in a sense. Uh, we're not taking taking pain here, but definitely didn't expect this thing to be where it is. We're still at minus three basis points. As long as this stays negative, euro yen really has to has to go lower in our minds. So. As far as tactically trading Euro Yen, selling high ones makes sense as this is negative. Um, but you want to be careful and watch a turn for this because this does not make a ton of sense. Um, negative boon yields. We're not at that kind of extreme. This is what you would expect to see if we're going into like a global uh, depression. I think we're just going into some sort of stock market correction. Um, so keep an eye on Boons. They've uh, they've really led the way uh, as far as Euro Yen trading, and I think we'll continue to do so. All right, I've said enough. Be careful out there, people, and I will uh, talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.